This video will instruct you how to rank cases in SPSS. A rank variable represents the ordering of the values of a numeric variable. Because ranks are the cornerstone of many non-parametric statistical methods, it is useful to know how to compute the rank transform of a variable in the data set. Right, let's now download the data set with hyperlink in the video description, and open it in SPSS. We'll use it for walking you in this lesson. In SPSS, rank variables can be computed using the rank cases procedure. To open rank cases, click transform on the menu, then click rank cases. In the rank cases window, the left column lists all of the variables in the data set. We can use this menu to add variables to the variable field and by field. The variables field contains variables to compute rank transforms on. The new ranks will be saved to new variables, whose names will be automatically generated. The by field is optional, in order to assign ranks within groups. By variables should be nominal or ordinal, and have a small number of categories. In the area of assign rank 1 to, we can choose how ranks should be assigned, in increasing or decreasing order. By default, ranks are assigned by ordering the data values in ascending order, from smallest to largest, then labeling the smallest value as rank 1. Alternatively, largest value orders the data in descending order, from largest to smallest, and assigns the largest value the rank of 1. Concerning the checkbox of display summary tables, when checked, a summary of the new rank variables is printed to the output window. The summary includes the original variables, the name of the new variables, the rank order, the ranking method, and the method used for ties. This option is on by default. The rank types option allows to choose one or more formulas to compute the ranks. Each box we check on this screen, will add another rank variable to the data set. By default, only the rank option is selected, this computes simple ranks. With ties option, we can decide how ranks should be assigned in the case of ties. A tie occurs when two or more observations share the exact same value. There are four options for how to resolve ties, including mean, low, high, and sequential ranks to unique values. By default, mean ranks are assigned to ties. For example, suppose we want to perform a rank transform on a variable, such as mile minder in the sample data set, that is non-normally distributed. Before we compute the ranks, let's check how many non-missing values this variable has. Let's also check the distribution of the mile run times graphically. The frequencies procedure makes it easy to do both of these things at once. There are two important things, we want to take note of. Firstly, the full data set has 435 observations, but only 392 had non-missing values for their mile run time. Secondly, the histogram shows that, the mile run times are strongly skewed right, additionally, on the low end, the mile run times cut off at 5 minutes. This means that, after we run the rank cases procedure, the resulting variable will only have assigned ranks for the 392 cases, with non-missing mile run times. Now let running the rank cases procedure. Click transform on the menu, then click rank cases. Now, add variable mile minder to the variables box, and click OK. After executing the procedure, SPSS will add a new variable at the end of the data set. It will also print a table summarizing the computation in the output window. This table summarizes what the rank cases procedure did. It created a new variable named R mile min, and assigned it the variable label rank of mile min dir. It ranked the values in ascending order, and it used the mean rank for values with ties. We can inspect the new variable, by using the descriptives procedure to get the sample size, minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation of the new variable. Notice that, we have the same sample size as the original variable. We finish here the video. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel. Also, don't hesitate to leave your comments, these will inspire us to create more videos.
See you soon in the next videos.